Hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 15. And today we are having a look at a rather interesting map. This is, and I'm sorry if I say this wrong, Munchwinkel. It is based on an actual place in East Germany. Is there actually even East Germany anymore? I think since the wall came down, I guess it would just be Germany, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, based on an actual place. And what's sort of really neat about this map is, although it doesn't have soil mod or the compost mod or that sort of thing, what it actually does have, and I believe that was probably a usable tractor there, is an awful lot of the UPK and Ross type things already planted on the map. Um, like most of the factories type of thing. Um, okay, and this is something I really like too. Uh, blue squares are pickup, yellow squares are drop off. So all of your uh, points that you want to sell and buy, they're all marked that way. So this I guess would sort of be our main farm with your regular type you know, dairy me now cow. And because I forgot to load the money mod, I could only buy us a couple of cows. So, <laughs> usually I start with like 10 or 20 so you can really see where they hang out. But there you go, there's a cow. So, nice textures. Everything looks good. Um, it does come with a multi-fruit pack. It also comes with a recommendation for a couple of different trailers, etc to handle all the different fruits that all the factory packs add um, concrete, boards, um, wood pellets, etc, etc there's at least two of these mixing stations I know that because it came up the water mod as you can see is installed and we are once again out by our Kalasauruses we have over here obviously one ginormous uh, canola field, although it appears to be one of the smaller fields in the area, but that is one of the ones we own. We have a lot of storage for our multitude of vehicles. All the typical small starter stuff, way undersized for the farm, apparently. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I believe map door trigger was required. And... Well, no. Of course, not to say those are actually doors. Ah, who knows? There may be, I'm uh, probably just at the back of a building that opens on the other side, knowing me. Alright, anyway. <laughs> so over here we have a bale master. Really? Oh. I guess you can load bales in there and get, what, straw out here? Yeah load bales and get straw. Oh, huh, cool. Well, that's I've never seen before. So there, right away, there's something different. This is uh, obviously the sheep zone because here's your automated wool palatate. Ah, uh, oh, there's the light thing, good. <laughs> so this must be where our sheep lives. Now again, I only bought a couple. Oh yeah, so there's, look. It's running away in the distance. I ain't going to be on camera. Bye. Yeah, There's nothing in the trough. Might as well wander over there, I guess. What have we here? Dunger. Oh, fertilizer. Okay, wow, then some big silos. Oh. Okie dokie. So again, a drop-off point and a pickup point. Okay, cool. Because there are factories that will make fertilizer. And here... All right, well, that's the same thing, isn't it? Or is it just a different pickup? Or a different type of fertilizer? Ah. And then over here, what's this? A seed blaster? Oh, lime! Oh, what's this? Sweet straw, 10%. Total mixed ration, silage, wood chips, chaff. And lime, 10,022%. Okay, not quite sure I understand what's going on there. Um, oh, I think this has given me like a layout for this whole area. I see, okay. Seeds, that good, okay. 
So there's that sort of Satgut Gunger building we had before, where you... Yeah. Okay, very cool. Wow. So that's all nicely done. Over here, okay, we're far enough away from that zone now, is Forge, alright, and there's one of those, uh, Ooh, I found a gold coin. There's one of those things you dump potatoes and sugar beets in. Yeah, sugar beets and potatoes. Cool, cool, cool. Now, you surely must open somehow. There we are. Told you you needed the map door trigger for something. There we go. Oh, ooh. More vehicular. Yep, more vehicular storage. And over here, I like how everything is really nicely labeled. Wood chips and sugar beets and potatoes. Nice. And what do we got here? More storage. Open sesame. There are also pig fattening, chicken fattening, and beef fattening on the map built in. Uh, as well as, like I said, there's, um, I believe, a brewery, a bakery. Oh, I don't know, I'm making this up now. Oh, let's have a look here. Alright, we've got wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, wood chips, oats, sunflowers, pigs, beasts, chickens, limes. That doesn't even all fit. Fish, that was the other one I forgot. And you can get cheese, can, can? Okay. Sand, concrete, gravel, apples, pears, jam, alcohol. Cherries, yeah, there's a distillery. You take grains there and they make different alcohols. Plums, oranges, strawberries, cucumbers, tomatoes, hops, meat, silage. Wow. So you have the agravis, the biogas, the biomass. You have a cellulose factory, a distillery, a farm shop, a freight yard, a garden center, a grain elevator, a horse yard, the inn, the shipping office, the transport company, the windmill, the roadworks. So, uh, yes. <laughs> There is no shortage. See, like concrete, 1,600 a ton to the roadworks. But you have to take sand and gravel to the concrete factory to get that. Um, okay, oats and sunflower, the windmill, transport company. Okay, I don't see... Uh, oh, here we go. Let's go this way. Okay, that's what I thought. I don't think even once any place to sell the animals came up. Hmm. Well, that's kind of odd. But we'll see what happens with that one. Uh, while we're here, there's your general outlay of the, uh, the map. As you can see, it is huge. Again, unfortunately, and I don't really know why they do this, um, for maps that have all these nice features, they all seem to be just multiplayer only type of thing, you know? I mean, I love the whole the whole getting more value for the, the crop that you take out of the field, but it seems that they just don't put them onto, uh, oh, you know, reasonable sort of sized maps. I mean, look at this. 90 fields, of which you own two, um, well, at least they didn't go and make them all full. <laughs> you know, so you had to harvest 5,000 fields before you could start the game. So here we go. Chicken, sheep, cows, uh, beef one, pig one, chicken one. Oh, so there's two fattening stations. Oh, three fattening stations for chickens. So I will assume then that somewhere... Oh, okay, there's a horse stable... There's sheep, cows, there's our normal chickens. I like the symbols on here, really nicely done. You could figure this sort of thing out pretty quickery. Hmm. Well, I don't know that we're going to do a tour of the entire map, simply because it does sort of seem to be a little on the large side. And, okay, this is just outside the farm. All right, it looks like the few vehicles they give us, unfortunately, <laughs> are all cluttered right on the farm. 
so it's not going to leave us any choice if we want to see anything else at all we are going to have to do this and just simply roll on out of here I don't really need a wait and what am I actually seeing here are these yellow lines roads is that the idea okie dokie Oh yeah, okay, good enough. In fact, a rather good way to mark them, I think. Now, we've seen that there are obviously gold coins. Uh, are there missions? That'd be neat, because I'd need to eventually do a map again with missions on it. Um, I think that there is. I can see the boards. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I know. It's the whole achievement thing, right? I'm never going to get the achievement for having done enough missions if I don't get on a map that has more missions to do. <laughs> Alright, so where do we want to go now that we're out in the great wild world? Well, there's a biogas plant up ahead of us, along with some other stuff by the look of it. So let's head that way. So the detailing seems pretty nice. The uh, texturing seems decent. Look, I'm not looking at a bunch of those horrible 2D trees. These all do appear to be the proper uh, FS-15 trees. Yeah, there's some big fields. This is not, uh, again, unfortunately not a single player map. Although I suppose you could sort of hang around your farm. The only thing then is it's, uh, you know, a half hour drive every time you want to go somewhere. Oh, that's cool. I love the signage. Check that out. So that you know where to go to find everything. Right. Hmm. That is pretty cool. So it tells us, for instance, the LPG plant is straight ahead. Whoops. <laughs> oh, there's a mission sign around here somewhere, apparently. Okay, so what is this place? Uh, yeah, there's just too many symbols on symbols on symbols in here, let me tell you. But back in the distance there, we can see is the biogas plant. There's a mission map there. Oh, it would appear that we have our garden center here, as well as our biogas plant. Okay. That's cool, because there's our seeds. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just another place to buy that stuff. But there seems to be quite a few different tips through here. Um, oddly enough, we have digesters way the heck over here. Holy, with a fill spot. Another set of digesters with a filler. Wow. Yeah, this is um, definitely designed for muchos, muchos amount of peoples. Um, and then we go over here, and it would appear, excuse me, that we have yet more. Are these ones actually fillable, or is this just sort of a, whoa, we're showing the place off kind of thing. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So it's just those other ones. So there's a couple of fillable ones back there. I actually bounced hard enough off that wall to allow me to keep going. Alright, so very cool. Uh, what else have we got? Is there a way out the back here? Ah, there's a gate right there. So yeah, really well done. It does warn that you sort of need a slightly higher end computer to run this smoothly. And as you guys are well aware, my computer's sort of crap, so... Um, yeah. Alright, we have... I don't know. It'd be nice to actually know what all these symbols are, I suppose. in here for a second. Alright, now... Hmm, okay, that's not really going to give me anything. Um, yeah, here's the actual uh, an aerial photograph of the area. There it is on the real map. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's really nothing. I thought there was some place that I ran across something that actually showed you what all these symbols were. I think this is actually the dairy... The dairy area. <laughs> Let's see, there should be a drop-off, probably only one drop-off, but there should be several pickups if it is indeed that. I don't see anything yet. Oh, here we go, what's going on here? Oh, that's a little weird. It would appear that our... Hmm. Not sure what's causing that. Again, they do warn that you need a rather high-end machine to run this map. Maybe I just don't have the uh, capabilities of getting everything to generate. But that was certainly uh, a pickup spot of some type. And here as well. Hmm, interesting. See, I do believe that's the dairy. It's kind of odd that the... Uh, the pickup or the drop-off, whatever it was, was flashing like that. I didn't see any others around, did you guys? Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah. There you are. That would be our dairy. And let's head out through here. There's a Lennet. Looks like we've got something else up there anyway. We'll just cut across the fields because we don't own them and as far as I know, nobody else does. <laughs> ah, cold coffee, yum. Alrighty. computer is not exactly suitable for this map. It does not like all that brickwork and stuff going on there, let me tell you. So, but this is obviously another one of the factory points. With a drop off here for grains. Where is that? Hmm. Uh, grain elevator. Yep, that's a grain elevator. So this would be a drop off for grains. So this isn't actually one of the factories. That's just simply a cell point. Oh, scale. Nice. What else have we got close by here? Uh, we've got a windmill. Oh, there's some kind of factory down the road here. Let's just get back out onto the main road. It should be just up ahead here. Alright. Zinitin. Jeez. It's been a while since I've uh, been inside one of these guys. <laughs> And again, good with the signage once you learn what all these symbols are. Cool. Is it a little ways or what? Yeah, a little bit. Wow. Quite a little bit. Probably want something quick. This is what I mean, even in single player, if you were to say, you know, stick around closer to your farm, etc. Um, when it came time to deliver stuff, you're going to spend 15 minutes out here on the road is uh, a little disconcerting. But certainly for multiplayer, boy, you can have a good time on this map, let me tell you. You could, you could. I can see why this requires a lot of resources. There are a lot of trees. Holy smokes. 
and these are all cuttable trees they're all collision so yeah there's an awful lot of hitboxes on this map <laughs> and we should be coming up on the mill here pretty quick there we go is that a great tree there I think yes indeed The old windmill type, very cool. And you can see there's a grain drop off up there. Like it. Alright, down to the next spot here. Which appears to be perhaps cheek and fat. This would be Los Polos Hermanos. No, just uh, some random chicken farm. <laughs> I don't think it would be that particular one. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we're looking at here, isn't it? Is that not a chickeny sort of picture there, or is that just me being an old blind dude? Alright, no, this would be, uh, wow. A very, very large chickenator plant. Compound feed is empty. Those triggers are huge, eh? I mean, look how far away we are from that thing. Hmm. Alright, so again, yeah, I mean, just looking after chickens alone could be a full-time job. So there we go. We've got our three chicken fattening facilities with all the corresponding gear. Oh yeah, we get some uh, shared silos going on here, I guess. Silage... All kinds of stuff, very cool. Straw, grass, wow. So again, all the signs of this being a rather obvious multiplayer type map. You know, the lots and lots of silo storage. You know, there's, uh, what do you got here? Wheat and barley storage there. And corn. Head over this way, we've got water stations. Uh, potatoes, sugar beets. So yeah, a bunch of shared silos. Um, compound feed. Wow. Quite impressive. So that's the chicken ranch. So there you go, guys. I think that'll pretty much do us for a look at uh, Munchwinkle. Or Munchwinkle, perhaps? Monikwinkle? I don't know. I'm going to call it Munchwinkle because I'll bet you that's what most of us poor old Canadian boys call it. <laughs> An awesome map, but again, a bit too much for single player. Um, you know, I'd really love to see a single player sized map. Um, you know, a medium and or even small map, if any of you guys know one. With all these sorts of factories on it, I think that would be just cool as heck. You know, it'd be almost like living in the real world. But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little look at Monchwinkle. I certainly did. It is a beautiful map. It is nicely detailed. Um, I haven't seen any textures on here. I haven't seen on other maps, but that's alright. Like I say, there's enough stuff going on. It just about eats my computer alive as it is. So, again, keep that in mind as well. Right? That, uh... Oh, I want to have a look at something. It did come with... A recommendation for placeables, really? What did it come for placeables? Oh, right. Um, this was just stuff I loaded because I wasn't sure. Um, but no, here. This is the trailer they recommend you run. And of course, <laughs> bloody thing, it doesn't list anything. But it will take everything from concrete to apples, apparently. So there you go. That's been our look, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did. It does me a world of good. Feel free to favorite and share it, of course. And uh, till next time, and most importantly, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. <laughs>